Yo! Let's go! Wolverine versus Raiden! Okay, at first I was like, Wolverine, yeah, because he's one of my favorites, but then... Oh, they revealed Ra Raiden was next. Raiden, Raiden, what, Raiden, whatever. Whatever. I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited. Alright, I know I look terrible. I got out of the, I just got out of the shower. But we're gonna watch this! So Alright, three, two, one, go! And I've mentioned before that I've never played any of the games in the Metal Gear series, so you're probably like, why do you like Raiden so much? Uh, I have seen, like, all the cutscenes, I've read up on all the story stuff, because Metal Gear is just an interesting franchise to me, so I'm like, yeah, I'll, I think I'll follow this. So even though I've not played any of the Metal Gear games, I know pretty much everything about it. I know about Raiden and Rose and all that stuff. Like lying to pregnant stuff, to, to whatever. You get it. Lying that she was pregnant even though she was pregnant, who, or who she was pregnant with, the kid, blah blah blah. I know how Raiden sacrificed himself at the boat and stuff. I don't... Ugh, I'm fangirling here. Woo! Ah, uh, we're going Wolverine first. So, who do I think's gonna win? I've been right with every death battle so far, and this one's a tricky one. Because Raiden is really good, but Marvel's win-loss record is unbelievable. So many wins for Marvel. But the last X-Men guy did lose, which was Beast. Mm, this is such a hard choice. I'm gonna go with Raiden. I'm gonna say Raiden's got this. Raiden has got this in the bag. Yep, I have to go with Raiden. Haha, <laughs> just like me. Wait, what? Not really. Oh, Wolverine also has someone named Rose. Interesting. You should probably see a doctor. With his healing ability slowing his aging, Logan has been here for 100 years. He fought in both World Wars and Vietnam before joining a special weapons project called Weapon X. Interesting. This is where he took the name, The Wolverine. But like almost every other secret project ever, it was actually yet another horrifying super soldier project. Whilst there, Wolverine enjoyed such treatments as being cut open repeatedly. Yeah, Marvel just has issues with super soldier addictions. Against Logan's will, a scientist named Dr. Cornelius infused his bones with adamantium. Cornelius. A man-made metal alloy. Adamantium is extremely dense and stable on a molecular level. For some reason, that stuff looks yummy. I want to drink it. I want to drink adamantium. <laughs> It's probably not healthy for you. Don't drink it. And turn him into an animalistic killing machine. The result? Well, Wolverine went crazy and slaughtered everyone at Weapon X. So I guess you could say the experiment turned out to be a complete success. Good job, everybody. Ooh. This just looks painful, though. Oh. I didn't need to see After that booty. After the wilderness and tangling with the Hulk, Wolverine was a bit <laughs> Who molded him into a real hero? Logan had finally found <laughs> the, <laughs> the theme song though. More mutant powers than Kim Kardashian has butt injections. He has keen animal-like senses and expert tracking skills. Can move faster than the eye can see and can lift up to two ah! pounds. His adamantium claws can cut through almost anything and conveniently he never has to sharpen them. He's immune to disease, can resist mind control, and can fight for days without tiring. The mind control and the disease, I don't think that's anything he has to worry about with Raiden. With Raiden. Uh, Raiden, 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 whatever. ...and was skilled enough to tag Speed Demon, who runs faster than the speed of sound. Despite all of this, his greatest attribute is his Ugh. sheer durability. He's like Super Rocky. Ugh. Wolverine has survived hits from Thor oh. and the Hulkbuster, <laughs> that was gross. And was once blown up with nothing left but his adamantium skeleton. Think hmm. that stopped him? Hell no. He got back up and beat the ever living shit out of the emo bomber man who blew him up in the first place. Jesus Christ, can anything stop this guy? Well, 
Can it? Has died a few times. Okay. He even used to have a deal with the Angel of Death to be resurrected should his healing factor ever be overtaxed. But eventually he gave it up in exchange for his soul. Yeah, this actually happened. However, <laughs> according to Professor Xavier, leader of the X-Men, Wolverine's healing factor stems from his brain. Ah? Uh, get it? Stem? Like brain stem? Stop it, Wiz. I'm the funny one. Just stick to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, it's okay, Wiz. At least you're smart. Poor Wiz. I want to hug him, him now. Probably staying where it is. Still, there's a reason why Logan keeps getting into bad situations like these. He's a lone wolf and doesn't like relying on others. And he's got a bit of a temper. <laughs> Tell Cyclops I made him a convertible. Piss him off too much! Something snaps Wolverine I love that. I love that so much. In this Tell Cyclops I made him a convertible. And ignores all pain. As he is consumed by the animalist. <laughs> I was like, what is that, Akuma? Dr. Cornelius all those years ago. stars. Wow, though. <laughs> mm. Yes! Born in Liberia, a young boy named Jeff. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go! President of the United States. Which sounds like a pretty good upside considering, except Sears was actually solid as Snake, a traitor who manipulated world leaders to profit from the war economy. Oh, and the fact that he killed Jack's parents. I'm your dad now. Being the perfect parent he is, Solidus enlisted Jack in the Liberian Civil War, where he became captain of his own commando unit Jack the, in the Ripper. Army of the Devil. That's his nickname. In, in case you didn't know, that's Jack the Ripper. That's his nickname. Damn it. Which is also like an old British killer or something. I don't know, serial killer, whatever. I just said that. You're you're slow, Wiz. You're slow. I'm beating you in the analyses. Hurry up, Wiz. I'm ahead of you. Well, they had to sometime. After being abandoned by Solidus, Jack fell for a girl named Rose and eventually got her pregnant. Jack was tormented by his past life and sought to right his wrongs by joining a special task force. With them, he teamed up with the legendary Solid Snake to take down some bad guys, destroy giant robots... I mean, to me, it still doesn't seem like Wolverine has a chance unless it comes to his healing factor. So, if... Raiden can just overcome his healing factor, then that's pretty much it. Raiden wins, because he's faster, he's stronger, I think. I don't know. I don't think they listed Wolverine's, like, strength feats. What could he, what could he lift? Was I not paying attention? I'm sure I was paying attention. Mm-hmm. No. It's gay. Let me put my dick in you. And then they had a <laughs> Well, first she actually said she had a miscarriage and married another man to trick right in, but it was really to trick the Patriots. Wait, please, the story is confusing enough without bringing that into this. Eventually, they got back together and had Yay. Please go back to talking about killing people. So too. cute. Sure. One day he was captured by the Patriots and used as a test subject for exoskeletal enhancement surgery. Transforming him into a superhuman cyborg ninja. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So cool. The cyborg Raiden went from a force to be reckoned with to a nigh unstoppable killing machine. Raiden is the coolest. Outrun bullet trains and even run on walls. <laughs> he can do shit like this. You too, immortal. No, I just don't fear death. <laughs> He's breakdancing. <laughs> Drugs must be fun. <laughs> Raiden is strong enough to lift and throw a Metal Gear Ray. Yes. While Ray's exact weight is unknown when compared to a Metal Gear Rex, which weighs 557 tons, we can estimate its weight to be over 1,000 tons. Yes. That wasn't even his final form. Right. Raiden eventually got a newer, better cyborg body, which was even more powerful. Strong enough to flip this giant thing, rip off its building-sized sword, and then fight a duel with it. And finish it off at blinding speed! I mean, what in the actual hell? When he's not wielding building-sized blades, Raiden wields a high-frequency blade called the Murasama. 
Originally forged in the 16th century, the Murasama was reoutfitted with high frequency. I still think Raiden's got this. By creating a powerful current through the blade that vibrates at intense speeds, it weakens its target's molecular bonds, forcibly slicing through almost anything. And if that's not deadly enough for you, Raiden can activate a super mode called Zendatsu. This causes Raiden's perception of time to slow anywhere from 50 to 90 percent, giving him plenty of time to chop through his foes. As yeah, he's he's got this. He's gonna slaughter Wolverine. He take this a step further by like his healing factor doesn't even matter anymore. He could just destroy Wolverine. Agony from wounds to envelop his senses causes him to lose himself in his old Jack. Yes. Personality. This Ripper mode radically boosts his already insane speed and strength. <laughs> you. But it comes at a price. You know, it's Get to the battle already. I want to see Raiden slaughter Wolverine. These enhanced modes rely on a fuel supply, and using them burns so cool. I want to be Raiden. Except the getting crushed by a boat part. <laughs> Plus, his blood is not natural and must be changed regularly, mm -hmm. like the oil in a car. But still, I am lightning. The rain transformed. Oh. <laughs> Worth it. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle. Here we go. There's Raiden. Oh, Torian, you're such a good animator. Oh no, better kill it. And there's Wolverine. Oh cool, he's helping. You guys should team up. Get out of my way. That chance, Bubba. You're next. No. <laughs> oh. Come on. Right. Slice him. Slice him. Slice him. Slice him. Slice him. Slice him. Nice trick, Voltron. I'm actually more human than you. And that's saying something. Let's dance. Come on. Come on, Ryan. Kick him into that bus. Slice him! Slice him in half! He keeps healing! Stop healing! No use hiding, Bob. Oh! Oh! Oh, no, 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 Stop it! Get up, Raiden! You can do it! You can do it! Yo, 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 yo! Yes, swing harder. Kill Wolverine. Oh no, he has his sword. Take your sword back. Take your sword back. Take your sword back. Get it 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 back. Get your sword back. Get your sword back. Okay, good. Good, you got your sword back. Yeah. 
No, it's a fake out. You can do it with one arm. Oof. Yo! Exactly like Raiden's high frequency blade. Like the Murasama, this can destabilize and break any metal, <sighs> including adamantium. And while in Jack the Ripper mode, Raiden can strike with enough force to cut through buildings and machines built to survive nuclear wars. Mm -hmm. With that much strength behind a sword like that, plus Raiden's speed and technology advantage, Wolverine's supposedly indestructible skeleton met its match. Any way you slice it, Raiden just had the right gear for the job. Yes. The winner is Raiden. Alright, who's next? Next time on Death Battle. Welcome everyone to today's extravaganza! Oh my... I'm done. <laughs> okay, that was an amazing death battle. The next person. Well then, I'm I'm just done. I'm done. <laughs> Bye.